Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is good with you guys. Got a great deck in the mail. I have wanted this deck. I ordered it back in April. Okay. Um, it was just done with kick, the Kickstarter campaign. And I had pre-ordered it. And I just got it. Um, it took quite a long time to get this deck. Um, but I have wanted this deck since the first um, edition came out. And so the second edition was put out on Kickstarter. I already did the unboxing of it, uh, or I unboxed it, um, because I don't like to do that. But this is the unboxing. I've looked at these cards and that is it. Here is the five cent tarot. I am so excited to get this deck. Um, I saw the, uh, first edition reviews and I'm telling you, this deck is amazing. This deck, um, when I pre-ordered it, um, it came with a little beautiful bag. Look at the lining. It is a gorgeous little bag. I just absolutely love it. And then it also came with this. And it came with this beautiful Yes and No Queen. And here's the other side. I absolutely love it. And it is heavy. Great quality. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. So, that is that. It came with a little note, postcard. There's one of the colors of the backs you can get is that, that sea green color. Um, it says, Madam Clara, fortunes told. Greetings from Madam Clara. Uh, my wish for you is good fortune and powerful insights. Let's see what the universe has in store for you. Be sure to see all my project, projects at madamclara.com. And please remember to share the love with a review. Cheers and thank you, Madam Clara. So guys, here is the box. Um, I love this. Past, present, future. It has the second edition on here. It has, there's the back of the box. I love the detail of the box. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it just opens up on the side. And look at the, it says, ask the cards. And here's the little book. And I got the gray stone um, cards with the uh, gray edges on it. And there's the inside of the box. I love it. And here are the backs that I picked out. With the, uh, the gray edging on it. My table, I just had a drink. And I don't know how to hit my mouth, so my table's a little wet. Okay. So let's get into these. Well, let's get into the book. It's just a little book. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just a little, little book. And it goes into the introduction. Then it has the majors, extra majors, matches, teacups, needles, and buttons. And then a special thank you. And she goes into... Um, saying the five cent tarot the five cent tarot is a fun whimsical deck loosely inspired by victorian era poster art using vintage images and remnants of biological and botanical epimera this deck incorporates keywords in the upright and the reverse position there are no people in this deck but flora animals and insects with some human accessories and unexpected elements. This deck is full of small surprises and fun bits of whimsy. The idea is to engage the reader with images and are that are interesting yet clear and to the point. Quirky and fun. 
In this deck, the pentacles are buttons, wands are matches, sticks, the swords are needles, and the cups are uh, vintage teacups. The key words in upright and reverse positions are scaled to a size that will be helpful for new readers, but also not distracting for experienced readers. The compositions also employ the symbolism from traditional tarot and are therefore RWS adjacent. And then she writes, um, this little book was here to create, to provide brief insight into my inspiration for each and every one of the cards in this deck. It is not intended to be an in-depth guidebook, rather a sentence or two for each card uh, to give you an idea of my thought process. In most cases, I give you a description of the animal or the insect I have chosen and why. Sometimes it's known symbolism reference. Other times it may be more obscure and own uh, twisted mind from my own twisted mind. Where appropriate, I make references to specific plants and flora. Other times they are merely vintage flourishes that work well with my design system. Even reader, every reader is different and we all draw from our own personal experiences, connections, and teachers who have helped to shape our unique perspective. So if you see a description or element on a card that doesn't vibe with your own, I hope you will accept it as a variation from a slightly different angle. To me, this is why so many of us have different and diverse tarot collections. I hope you enjoy. So that's very nice. Um, and then it just goes right into the, the cards. And there's just a brief little paragraph for each card. Okay, um, and that's all she has in there. And then just a quick little note in the back. Thank you, a special thank you to all who supported this deck in its evolution, Mary Second Run. None of this world would be possible without your encouragement and enthusiasm along the way. Many designs, design decisions and updates were made by consulting the group so you can all feel like you were very much a part of the final creation, Madam Clara. So very nice, very nice. Um, so let's look at the cards. Love these cards. I love this green. Look at that. That's the fool. We have the frog there. Um, and the keywords on here, it says new beginnings. It has uh, spontaneity free spirit, risk, um, that would be your upright, your upright would be recklessness, naive, and risk. So what you do is you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have the keywords here. Okay, and then it has the fool. And then if you reverse it, it has the word and the words down here. So, and I love these borders on here. I think these are so beautiful. So next we have the magician and it's master of skill, resourceful, uh, concentration. The high priestess, intuition. She has perception. and spent or subconscious. And this is the owl. I just love these images on here. You guys know how much I love Victorian stuff. So this is just like my cup of tea. Uh, the Empress, it has creativity as nature and nurture. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have the butterfly. There. 
So the emperor, we have authority, power, we have paternity. Next, we have the Hierophant. Uh, she has morality, beliefs, wisdom. Next, we have the Lovers for commitment. Um, we have partnership. We have crossroads, choices. The Chariot for Determination, which is willpower and control. I'm not reading the reverse, guys. Mm -mm. Just the upright ones. Next, we have Strength, which is self-mastery, control, and discipline. Next, we have the Hermit, soul-searching, self-discovery, uh, alone time. Love that. I love the borders on here, too. They also had this Robin Egg blue-like. Um, it was really pretty. I almost got that, and then I was like, oh... I, I like color, but I'm more of a non-color person when it comes to ducks. Because later down the road, I might not like that color. You know what I mean? So I don't, I like to go with a more of a neutral color. So that's why I went with this color. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny, uh, karma, fate, luck. Next, we have justice, which is cause and effect. Um, it is for fairness, trust. You have the bird there with a the crown. I love it. Love, love, love. And these cards stock, guys, is absolutely amazing. Um, it is, you can feel like a texture on it. I don't know if you guys can see the texture. Hold it up. But it's like a textured, you can hear it, um, amazing. I love it. The Hanged Man. This is for perspective, letting go, pause, um, sacrifice. This is the uh, bat, upside down bat. I love that as the Hanged Man. But what happened with this is this duck... Um, was stuck in customs for about a month. So that's why it took so long to get to us. Um, death is endings. It's a change. It's transition. It's a beautiful black raven curl. Love it. Temperance. We have patience. We have balance. Inspiration. Then we have the devil for addiction, uh, dependency, fear, temptation. We have the tower is upheaval. We have a uh, disruption, awakening, right? And I love the, the turtles. On here. I think they're so cool. Here's the tower. Then we have the star card. Um, for hope, faith, renewal. Look at that. That is so cool. Next, we have the moon for subconscious, imagination, and illuminate. Illusion. The sun is for happiness. 
It's for authenticity, optimism. So then we have judgment for awakening, epiphany, uh, calling. Beautiful butterfly. Uh, the world, we have completion, we have triumph, we have harmony, we have snakes in there, we have the cups, the matchsticks, the uh, pins, and the buttons, so they're all on there. So that's the end of the cycle. Uh, my nose is itchy. I love the colors. I think the colors are just amazing. So these are the <clears throat> the extra cards. So here is uh, Divine Faith, which is openness um, and curiosity. And it, the card is called the Unknown. And we have the Beyond. So it's the soul. It's for higher being and belief. Then we have the universe, which is for infinite growth, evolution, possibilities. Then we have the messenger, which is spirit guides, protection, divine signs. So those are the four extra cards that you get. So then we're going to go on to the matches and the matches are the wands. So we have ace of matches, which she has inspiration, opportunity, and potential. I love the little bird with the hat. Oh my gosh, is he adorable or what? Then we have the two of matches, which is for progression, discovery, and planning. Three of matches would be foresight, expansion, and progress. Or progress. Four of matches is celebration. Achievement and harmony. The five of matches is for conflict, rivalry, and completion. Next, we have the six of matches for acclaim, uh, success, and victory. I am so glad I got this deck, guys. <clears throat> Seven of matches is for conviction. It's for perseverance and vulnerability. The eight of matches is for acceleration. It's for air travel and a quick decision or quick decisions. Next, we have uh, the Nine of Matches, which is for resilience, uh, persistence, and strong will. Then we have uh, the Ten of Matches, accomplishment, responsibility, and burden. And we're going to go on to our court cards. 
Uh, we have the page of matches for an initiative, discovery, and exploration. The night of matches would be for adventure. It's action, passion, energy. Then we have the queen of matches for courage, uh, fierce energy. It's uh, take a chance. Love the lion on here. Uh, the King of Matches, Born Leader, Vision and Intent and Success. Okay, then uh, we're on to the Ace of Cups, which she has the vintage teacups in here, which the Ace of Cups is for new love for creativity and affirmation. Then we have the Two of Cups for partnership, connection, a unity. I don't mind the keywords on here um, for the cards. They're not... So intrusive, um, you know, even though they're around the cards and stuff, they're not intrusive. So I don't mind them at all in these cards. The Three of Cups is for friendship. It's for community involvement. Four of Cups for contemplation, apathy, and delusion. The Five of Cups would be Lamination. It would be uh, Pessimism and Regret. Six of Cups. I love these fish. The whales um, on here. Uh, Six of Cups is Innocence. It's remem Reminiscing. Playful. Oh, maybe they're dolphins then. They're probably dolphins if they're playful, huh? Then we have the six, seven of cups, which is for possibilities, wishful thinking, and dreamer. The Eight of Cups, Inner Journey. We have Walking Away and Introspection. The Nine of Cups is A Wish Come True, Gratitude and Contentment. And we have the Ten of Cups for family bliss, harmony, and well-being. And then we're on to the court cards. We have the Page of Cups. We have curiosity and possibility, imagination. I love that. Next, we have uh, the Knight of Cups for Charmer, Romance, a Proposal. Then we have the Queen of Cups for Empathy, Calm, and Comfort. Love that pink flamingo with the teacup on his head. 
So cute. So cute, so cute. Oh, no, that's a crown. The teacup's on the ground. So he has the crown on his head. Sorry, guys. It's hard to see from the camera lens, you know, of what it is. <coughs> Let me take a drink. Um, next, we have the King of Cups. And that is for compassion and diplom diplomacy. Then the needles would be your swords. So we have the ace of needles for breakthrough, intelligence, and clarity. Two of needles for decision, impasse, blindness. I can't tell if that's a bat. Yeah, it looks like a bat. It has bat wings. Three of needles would be heartbreak, suffering, sorrow. Four of needles, res respite, introspection, and recuperation. Sometimes they're kind of hard to find because you see the the little banners with the words on them and you're like, okay, which way is it going? Five of needles is for disagreement, surrender, and serving, self-serving. Okay, we have the six of needles for rite of passage, overcoming safety. Seven of needles, we have betrayal, deception, cunning. Can't wait to work with this deck. I think it's going to be very awesome deck to work with. Uh, eight of needles is for imprisonment, self-victim, and entrapment. Nine of needles is for hopelessness, anxiety, and anguish. Next, the court card, or no, nope, ten of needles is for finality, painful end, and inevitable. And we have the courts, page of needles for ambition, restlessness, and initiative. Knight of Needles is for unstoppable, focus, and courage. Look at the blues. Queen of Needles is clear of mind, honest, and unbiased. King of Needles, Law and Order and Discipline. And I love that she used the swordfish in this one. Kingfish. Next, we're on to the buttons, which the buttons are the pentacles. So we have the Ace of Buttons, we have Opportunity, Fertility and prosperity. Couldn't find that one. Two.
two of buttons for balancing act, um, priorities, and flexibility. I so wanted to work with this deck this weekend um, when I was up at my daughter's, but I was like, oh, no, because it's already in order. I don't want to work with it until I've done the walkthrough on it. So three of buttons is for collaboration, teamwork, and expertise. So I held on. We have four of buttons. We have conservatism, security, and defensive. Five of buttons is for hardship. It's for worry in isolation. Six of buttons is for generosity. It's for sharing and charity. Then we have the seven of buttons uh, perseverance, diligence, rewards. The eight of buttons is for mastery, apprentice, and focus. Next, we have nine of buttons for self-fulfillment, luxury, and cumul cum cumul ugh. I can't say it today. Cumulination. Cumulination. My mouth doesn't want to speak. Ten of buttons is for share the wealth, legacy and inheritance. The page of buttons for endeavor, manifestation, foundation. <clears throat> this would also be a really great um, deck for beginners because it does have the keywords on there. The Knight of Buttons would be for attainment and patience and ten tenacity. Queen of Buttons is for providing caregiver and practicality. And lastly, we have the King of Buttons for affluence, discipline, and ecum. Ecumen. Okay. So, guys, that is the five cent tarot. Here's the five cent tarot. In the beautiful box. I love, love, love this deck, guys. Um, so if you want to order this deck, you can find this on Etsy. Um, it is available now on Etsy. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it because it was so long ago. I think it was around 60 maybe, 55, 60, somewhere in the area U.S., so, um, but she is doing it now. She has the decks in hand. She's going to mail out Kickstarter first, then her Etsy um, people. And I'm not sure if she has, I think that's the only two places and maybe her, her main website um, that you can do it. And that's Madam Clara. Um, so don't forget, and that is a this year, 2000, or second edition deck. 
So if you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, channel, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Um, I love you guys. You guys are awesome and amazing. And I hope you guys like this deck and order it. Um, it is a really, really high quality, um, good deck. So I love you guys. Again, have a great day and I will see you next time.